Well, we're at the headquarters of the British Geological Survey at Keyworth, just south of Nottingham. Here's our map of Britain, and what this shows us is the landslides from 2012. Two different coloured dots. Blue ones indicate landslides up until November, and crucially, the red ones show you the landslides that have happened since November, so just, after, uh, just over the last few weeks. So as you can see, an extremely busy time for December alone, five times more than we would expect on average. Let's bring in Dr. Helen Reeves. Helen, we assume that it's all because of the rain. Is that the case? Um, rainfall's part of the equation. Um, it's certainly a contributing factor. And certainly over the, over the last 12 months, it's been a, a very important factor. Um, when we look at uh, this summer, we've had uh, a dry spring, but yep. then an extremely wet summer. Um, you know, uh, we have the average landslide occurrence here, uh, with five so happening. five would be a normal, normal year, year in, in July. July. Then up to All 20. All up to 20 last year, okay. And you can see that we've had uh, significant rainfall uh, uh, when you compare it to the average. Yeah. And when we move over into the winter now. So this is December. In, yeah, in December. Um, 10 or 11 on average. Yep. Right up to all 48. the way up to 48. So that's a five fold increase. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is very unusual. So um, it's uh, because we've got very high water levels, uh, we have uh, the ground has been surcharged with so much rain over the summer and now also continued in the winter. And that's certainly contributing to why we're seeing so many events. Okay. Um, and what we've collected is data and information you see from uh, the, the red and the blue spots. Um, we've put that into our national landslide database, which we hold here at Key Keyworth, and it's uh, the uh, fundamental data set for landslides in, the, in Great Britain. And what we're looking at here is, is Dorset Coast, the Jurassic Coast, Burton Bradstock, I think this is an actual landslide yep. earlier this year. Uh, that's obviously, there's not perhaps not much we can do about that. You've got a bit of coastal erosion yep. and you've got the rain as well. But in terms of anything that we can do artificially, yep. engineering-wise, to try and safeguard ourselves in the future, what can we do? Um, there's hard engineering solutions that you can use, but of course they're very expensive. There are software engineering solutions where we can maintain and manage water, put in drainage and culverts, which can um, slow down any movement and sometimes reduce it. Um, but of course, nature has its way of continuing in such dynamic environment, environments, and it's very hard to stop that. Yeah, it feels as if we're Canute-like pushing it back. All right, Helen, thank you very much indeed. Uh, one of the key things that the British Geological Survey also wants to do is to hear from you, from members of the public. Basically, if you see a landslip, uh, landslide anywhere in your local area, make sure that you inform them, let them know. That goes into their database. That helps them better inform the science of landslides. And, of course, that should then hopefully help us better protect ourselves in the future.